And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Darius Thresh. It's going to be our first Rank Up Sunday deck. This is a really good Rank Up deck. That's what we determined last Sunday when we played it for Rank Up Sunday. Also, we're going to bring it back because I've had fun with it and we don't play tons of Shadow Isles. So it's good to, to bring back. So yeah, we have we have our champions, Thresh and Darius. Those are going to be our good top-end cards to our aggressive deck. So we're going to be our aggressive deck, especially having our Cursed Keeper and Blighted Caretaker combo. And try to get ahead. Um, but then we're going to have a good amount of Nexus damage in here with Imperial Demolitionist and Doom Beast. Those um, will help just chip away and try to get the opponent down to 10. Of course, we have Noxion Fervor in there as well. And once they get down to 10, we have a 10 power Darius. They can help finish the game. We have Atrocity paired with Darius. And we just kind of finish the game out with a whole bunch of burn. So we have been playing Apprehend in this deck in the past. And from the, the 10 games we've played with the deck, the two times we've played it, we've never we've never been able to rally a single time with Apprehend. So we're deciding just to cut the Apprehend. Um, and uh, we're going to be playing a Culling Strike here over it. That was something that we talked about at the end of the last video. That's going to be our card here, because there's a lot of cards that Culling Strike can kill, like the Weirding Stones as an 0-4 or different champions. Um, it's, it's just a pretty decent removal spell, so we're going to keep that in here. Alright, let's go play our five games over in Ranked with Darius Thresh. <laughs> so Apprehend is noob bait. I mean, kind of. I guess you could say that, but it's it's always good to try new cards. There will be times where we'll win the game for you. And, you know, you won't won't forget those times. But then there will be other times where it really doesn't do very much. Alright, I love, love Calling Strike here against the Misfortune deck. Thresh also very good against smaller units. So we're going to keep those two. But then we want to look for some, some cheaper things to play. We just got one Ravenous Butcher in the deck. Ooh, love that. Great draw, great draw. Because, you know, debating, you know, do we do we kill this? And then it's like, probably. Now we got a, a lot better card to kill with Curse Keeper. Ooh, that's what I smell? I think especially with our draw being Hapless Aristocrat, that probably makes it easier to attack with the Warden Spray. Wow, no blocks. Taking it. See, good thing we didn't block... See, good thing we didn't attack with the Warden Spray, because they would have just blocked the Warden Spray for free. Taking the 7 either way. Break their spirits and their soul. Nope. Culling Strike being all good and stuff. A lot better than an Apprehend would have been. <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, a lot better than an Apprehend would have been. This makes the opponent surrender. Yeah, even, yep, even if I'm winning, I still switch decks, because it's not, it's not about me winning. It's about me producing content and making videos and that kind of stuff. So I, that's why I play everything, and that's why I play all the decks, is because that's, that's what I care about. That That's my... That's my job. Um, let's see. Let's keep one Curse Keeper to go with the Caretaker. Yeah, just Runeterra has so much to offer. I want to show off everything and be able to make and play decks for everyone. The problem with the hand that we currently have is that they is that we do not have the attack token on turn three. This is a hand where we really want to have the attack token on turn three for our blighted caretaker. Um Question is, do you think that the meta is kind of being stabilized, shoehorned into the extremes, they're to you going with hyper early game or stall late game? Kind of. Yeah, kind of. But, I mean, it's... Yeah, I mean, it is a lot of aggro and a lot of... 
late game control. Their mid range is struggling slightly. Uh, they do a great job with balance changes and stuff. So whenever, whenever it has, at least in the past, whenever it's gotten towards the extremes like this, it it will uh, normalize out and they'll make some nerfs and things like that. So it makes the most sense for me to culling strike this turn, take the six, begrudgingly, and have Blighted Caretaker help clean up the board next turn. There you are. Culling strike has been awesome so far. So what do they got on turn four to follow up one drop, double one drop, champion? The strong first three turns. Are you kidding me? Quite strong first three turns. So let's see. Glimpse Beyond means that I have five mana next turn. Which I guess means Thrash. Basically seeing if I would need to save save the mana, because we could save the mana and have like Fervor, Doom Beast together. Come, come this way. That was the perfect make it rain. There's plenty of killing. Yep. The perfect make it rain. No, 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 no. I'm down to six. A little scared of, of going Thresh like this and having them open up Noxion Fervor. Man, it's into a Jack the Winner. All right, sometimes your opponent just has perfect hands. That happened. I want to gain life with the Doom Beast. So yeah, we'll have a balance patch in three days. The and it'll be announced. Um, it'll be announced in two days. And I could honestly see quite a few things changing. I would not be surprised if quite a few things change. Okay, so I wanted to keep Noxion Fervor up in case they, they did that on something smaller. So they're at 13. War Mason, reporting for duty. I have my orders. Mm. Should have had the box. I'll kill four things. Four life. Cowers the lot of you. Alright, so we got block. I guess this game is just going to be over. Yeah, I mean, I need I need to play the box last turn. No matter what we did, and then they would have had the sleep with the fishes to finish the game. I 
Both of these cards are just really good at solid cards. I'm going to keep them both. There we go. The chains, they never stop. It's pretty nice. Yeah, let's take the one damage. Fight or die. Remember the objectives. So I'm planning on getting playing like whatever we get with the warden's prey. Cool. That is awesome. So you play that this turn and then be able to kill it, whatever it is, with the blighted caretaker. Patience. That was a good quality warden spray right there. I guess it's still worth it though. You could definitely see that. Many tribes, one frail yard. I think their allegiance missed. I'm pretty sure that allegiance just missed. Elixir of Iron still being great. So turn five, here we play Thresh. Next turn, turn six, we can go Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker, and Stygian Onlooker. Oh no, it did not miss. That is the opposite of missing. Kind of looks like it missed, but that's that's such a good combo with the Trapper and then the Outriders there, getting you 8-8, eight, eight, one mana 8-8 eight, eight Overwhelm. That is a very good combo. How are we killing this enraged yeti? I can go with my block something like. I should want to do this. Something like this. Okay, so we're at 18 right now. Puts this thing to 4 health. I don't quite get to level up Thresh before attacking. It's going to be at 5. So let's see, we go Curse Keeper. And then I glimpse beyond Curse Keeper, so that's five. Unspeakable Horror, they're Omen Hawk, so that's six. Got to do both of these in response so we get to attack, you know, so we get the next priority. Because I want level, not only do I want level up Thresh to put Darius in, but I need leveled up Thresh to be four power so we can challenge the 8-4 Overwhelm with four power. That Unspeakable Horror was a perfect draw. And GG's. We defeated the Rally Yetis. Twisted Fate Swain. Yeah, <laughs> top deck one damage, go from losing to winning that turn. Uh, this hand's pretty good. I like our champions. Maybe we get rid of the Darius just to get other stuff because it's expensive, but I mean, it is still just a cool champion. Look at these little one ones. Oh, really? 
Let's go Hapless Aristocrat with Ravenous Butcher. Put four power into play. Sixteen. Attack for five now. Ooh. Playing the Blighted Caretaker would be good against, like, Petty Officer, if that's their plan as Petty Officer. No, I think we just take the five. Be aggressive. I'm gonna be aggressive. Croak if you work, burn if you don't. Such a fast pass. Remember the objectives. That kind of fast pass kind of feels like Twisted Fate. Like that's what they wanted to do is like me play some more stuff and then they go Twisted Fate red card. To Sprayfin. Where are we at? Ooh, they're at nine? Yes. No, you already played Culling Strike. worth the trade um, obviously it's better to trade like after a thresh is in play but also you know like they have just a lot of removal in their deck and I'm worried about them having like removal for that stuff and then us not being able to trade with that 3-2 later um, we could use you know it's always good to have space for uh, cards like Blighted Caretaker as well so we got Decimate for our champion spell Double powder cake. Well, we we got another Darius, so even if they if they are able to kill this Darius, it's not the worst thing because we got another one. Bait. Doing a lot of damage. Honestly, I probably should not have just... Maybe I should not have blocked their Twisted Fate. Because now they can play another Twisted Fate. I should have blocked something else. I'm a little worried they're going to play another Twisted Fate. 
Hope it does one damage. Hope not. Everyone's a garden. Please let me attack. Yay. It's better to trade with the 2 1 though than trade with, you know, Mega Rain. Or part of a Mega Rain, but they didn't they didn't play Mega Rain before this. You gotta rock with your name on it. I won't back down. So I'm down to just four. That's a good card against an open attack. Yeah, just a good card in general. Helps keep me from dying. Yeah, I definitely think you could play Twisted, Twisted Fate, Aurelian Soul Control. Definitely. Lots of good cards in both Targon and Bilgewater, two really powerful regions. short Dark in the sky. two I do think it's worth playing the Thresh first, how Thresh can challenge to help out Darius. I mean, obviously, we can die to a lot of stuff, but most of the stuff that's going to be killing us from their deck are going to be slow speed spells. They could have, like, a Twisted Fate stun. That would be sad. Um, but I think it's worth it. Um, the best Aurelian Soul deck I've seen so far is with... Is with Freljord, with the ramp spells and um, removal spells that Freljord has. I mean, they block there. They only take they take eight. Not lethal. Guardian doesn't do more damage because they can play Swain, right? Like, they could just play Swain and block my Guardian. So that's the problem with playing either of these before combat, is they just they just then play Swain and then they get to block a lot more damage. I think my best chance of winning is making this attack. You know, I just hope that none of these things do damage to me. Make this attack, they take eight, and then I Doom Beast. And finish the game. So you know, it's obviously you know that's that's just my best plan of winning. So there we go. Let's see if it works. All right. Our borders grow. All right. Over to they who endure. Mulligan the Doom Beast to start with. This is a card that it really, you know, matches up really poorly against Blighted Caretaker. 
And it's difficult to turn on the Nightfall early on in the game as well. So it's a good card to have later, but it's a card that I just want to mulligan from the opener. It's possible I should have mulliganed Thresh, because Thresh is a little slow, but Thresh is just so good against decks with smaller units, which is what we are currently playing against. Unfortunately, we just drew another Thresh and haven't... And, you know, then drawing another Thresh, a Glimpse Beyond, a Ravenous Butcher. These aren't cards that are things that we want to play early on. Alright, now here we can play Doom Beast. Get that Nightfall in, block the Callista. I definitely could see them having unspeakable horror or vile feast that kills this doom beast now. Make the Empire proud. But of course, I want to play something first before we play this. Oh, what am I doing? I don't even have the mana for that. Well, I'm silly. I'm silly. Well, this is just kind of an awkward turn then, wasn't it? Let me play Thresh. Everyone's a garden. Let me play Thresh. But please don't play Bloody Caretaker. Because that pretty awesome. Unfortunately, we don't get the box. Help me a lot. That doesn't work. <laughs> come, come, so we have this way. four units dying right here. Routes closed. I, do I want to glimpse beyond Doom Beast right now? Do I want to use that two spell mana? I think so. We use that two spell mana. Alright, so four units dead. Don't drain that. Because that means they're going to have Callista Blackspear. Because that's what I assume. Yep. That makes my life a lot more difficult. I still think the best card is Thresh. Would have liked to have leveled up Thresh, which is what I was about to have, and been able to challenge Callista with a leveled up Thresh. Where are you? So they just passed to me. Maybe I should have just passed back. Man, they're still passing. I'm gonna pass back. It's six mana over there they're not using. So I guess, you know, three mana is gone. I guess I'm just not going to create a Nightfall thing. I guess that's just my best play of not not creating a Nightfall card in hand. Because I just don't want to spend the two mana on the Glimpse Beyond. I, you know, not only don't want to spend the mana on the Glimpse Beyond, but I also want to get damage in. Um. Uh, I, I enjoy it, Dusk. 
that asking what I think of the, the meta game. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm having fun. Yeah, we're at four out of six. Now we're at five. I guess I could have played my regular Bark Beast. I was playing that so it would die, so I'd level up Thresh, but I guess they play they I didn't even I was kinda of focused on my own turns over here. I didn't really focus on them playing an ephemeral first keeper. Fifteen damage is what they got. Oh man. Oh man. There you are! I'm sorry, Darius. It's just going to be better for me to play Sapling. Maybe it's not. Yeah, maybe maybe Double Darius would have been better. I was thinking Sapling kill these things. Alright, so if I challenge there, challenge... Here. Yeah, maybe Darius would have been better. Maybe I didn't need to kill Callista so much. So they're going to have five blockers. Yeah, Thresh pulls from the deck first, and, and if it doesn't pull from the deck, then it pulls from your hand. So this is an important glimpse beyond keep them at 13 so this three will go through so they'll go down to 10 so Darius will go turn into a 10 six so we'll kill they who endure Callista doesn't bring back they who endure. I'll handle this myself. Correct. Yes, replacing a unit is an obliterate, not a death. Correct. Come, tonight we'll bring them to justice. Cool. 
to me. All right, taking the four. Going right to attacks, I think. Well, we can go Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker. If I do that, we don't get the four. I guess we don't get the four three by doing that. Because we just run out of room. Because we'd have the, the, the three two ones, basically. Is that worth doing that? Or is it better just to go to attacks? Like, what, what would a They Who Endure deck play, like, defensively that punishes me for doing this? Like, I don't... And getting three extra two ones. I mean, they. I guess they could have their own. I play Curse Keeper, they play Curse Keeper. Then I go Caretaker, they go Caretaker. Now they have more blockers. Empires are built upon action. Move. I don't think they would ruination, right? I don't think they have ruination, but I kind of feel like the best play is just to actually do this. And that's why I could have done that. We got some more blockers out. Six five fearsome. Yeah, I should have should have played this. Could have got some more. Could have got like the you know could have challenged their two blockers. A couple blockers. I guess I already have the three two that can block that thing. All right, let's get let's get Darius in play, so that maybe we draw our own atrocity. We're playing two atrocities. Maybe we draw our own and get to finish the game. Definitely should have played Curse Keeper Caretaker last game. So no atrocity for me and a 15-15 overwhelm for them. That's not great. There's no reason... There's no reason not to attack with this 6-5. Why would the 6-5 not attack? Like, that's a good trade with the Darius. Yes! That's our best draw. Atrocity. And man, our one loss is super close, but of course all of our wins are very close as well. still lethal, right? It's very lethal. Wow, they they had it. They had it too. Yeah, like we would have won without them having atrocity, but now our top deck atrocity beats theirs. GG's, 4-1. There we go, there's Darius Thrust. The, the Colling Strike was awesome. That was a big upgrade, putting that into the deck. Definitely liked that one. That was a nice upgrade. Um, and yeah, our Darius did his job. Thresh was really good. You know, both of our champions were awesome. And we got to just play our, our little game of our, our small units and stuff, and our, our large champions finished the game out. That's what, it, that's what this deck does. It's a lot of Nexus damage in here. And um, while they're focusing on all your small units, you have you have those two champions that are awesome. Um, so there we go. There's Darius Thresh. So each time, have we gone four one each time that we've played this? Like all, I think so, right? I think we've so we've played it. We've played it three times now, and I think we've gone four and one each time. Nice eighty percent win rate. That's awesome. 
do I think Arachnoid Sentry could fit in as a one of? I mean, there's there's nothing here that I want Arachnoid Sentry over. Yeah, I mean, you know that I I do like Arachnoid Sentry a lot. Oh, I was thinking Arachnoid Horror, Arachnoid Sentry. I think you were talking about. Uh, okay, we went four one twice and a five zero once. Okay, yeah, last time we went five zero. Okay, so we've gone so better than eighty percent win rate. So we've gone. Uh, thirteen and two with the deck. Sweet. Um, Arachnoid Horror. No, I mean it's a good card. I like it, but it would have to if he, if we had played this card, it'd have to be over one of these. But the Aristocrat and the Warren Spray both did pretty well. The thing about these two cards is they make not only your one Ravenous. Sorry. Okay, there we go. They're they're better now. Um, I don't remember what my point was. Sorry, the dogs just started barking a whole bunch. Um. I, I don't know um let's see so the yeah the arachnoid sentry so that card i i think that's gonna be worse than calling strike i think it's basically like it's kind of like a removal spell you know it's a removal spell through three two i think you're gonna want the removal spell for that <clears throat> that spot we already have lots of of threes i would rather have calling strike than than this thing the calling strike came in really clutch um yeah i, I don't think you need sentry it's not like Sentry's bad or anything. It's just I don't. There's nothing here that I would rather that that I think Sentry's better than for this deck. All right, so yeah, we had a nice thirteen and two record overall with this deck. All right, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Darius Thresh, and I'll see you for the next video.